Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do AWS Athena practical lab part. So we have one of the requirement. First we will try to understand the requirement and then we will go for the practical part. So our requirement is very simple. We have a data that is available in Amazon S3 location and we have to do an analysis on top of the S3 data. So for the analysis perspective we can use AWS Athena. We can write any kind of the SQL query with the help of the Athena and we can do analysis. So that is the process we are going to follow here. So we have a data that is available in Amazon S3. For the analysis perspective, we are going to use a AWS Athena. Now in Athena, we have a two options. Either we can use a, a direct S3. So for that, we have to create a schema or if you want to maintain a schema by the crawler, that is the second option. So in this particular video, we are going to see how actually with the help of the crawler, we can maintain the schema and uh, we can create one table with the help of the crawler and we can uh, do a query on top of the crawler only. So we will maintain a metadata information with the help of the crawler and with the help of the crawler, whatever the table will be created on that table, we will try to write a SQL query and we'll try to do an analysis. So that is the process we are going to follow in this particular video. So uh, let me open that. So we have a one of the S3 bucket. This is the S3 bucket I have. In this S3 bucket, I have a file available. Revenue.csv file is available. Now what actually we will do, we will try to create a crawler. So for that, we will search for the glue. Search for the AWS glue. Open in a new tab. In the left side, you can see we have a data catalog. So click on the data catalog. We will click on the crawler and click on the create crawler. We are going to create a crawler. Give the crawler name. So I will give the crawler name as a revenue. You can give any name. After that, click on the next. Select the data source. So click on the added data source. Our data source is S3, but if you have another data source, you can select that. And after that, we have to provide the S3 location. So I will select the S3 location path. So this is the S3 bucket. I will provide that and click on the slash. Crawl all subfolder and add an S3 data source. Now click on the custom classifier, add new classifier. Our data is in CSV format. So I will select the classifier and I will give the crawler name as a CSV. And I will just click on the create. So that is the process we are going to follow. So we have created a crawler and we have mentioned this is in CSV format. That's it. And we'll come here. We will refresh this and we'll select the CSV. So this is the process we have already done in our previous video. That's what I'm going fast. If you haven't watched those video, please do complete the crawler video first and then come here. Okay. And after that, click on the next. Click on the create new IAM role. So we are going to create an IAM role here. So I'll click on the create new IAM role. In this case, I will give the Athena lab. Here, this particular IAM role will be created. And after that, click on the refresh. You can see this is the Athena lab uh, one IAM role which got created. And after that, we have to just click on the next. Give the database. So we are going to first create a database. Under that, the table will be created. So click on the add a database. Give the database name as a revenue or you can give any name. Create a database. Once your database is created, go back there. Refresh this. Now you will see the revenue database. Now crawler schedule. We are going to schedule on demand so that we will select. Click on the next. And after that, we'll click on the create crawler. Now left side, I will click on the crawler. Refresh it. You can see this is the crawler which got created. Now let me click here and let me try to run it. Once this crawler will run, it will try to create one table and that table we will use for the analysis purpose. So it is running. So let's wait for that. It's completed. You can see one table got created. I'll click on the left side. You can see database table, right? So I'll click on the table. Click on the refresh. You will see one table which got created based on the S3 bucket. So I'll, if I will click here and if I will show you, you can see we have a year, we have a revenue, we have a profit. This is the particular column which got created. 
you can see we have a year we have a revenue we have a profits right so based on that the column actually it got created we are good with this if you want to change the schema you can click on the edit schema and you can change that also that is also fine but i am going as of now with this only now what actually i will do i will, I will try to use this for the analysis so if i want to use for the analysis what actually i will use i will use a athena so search a athena open in a new tab once you will open in a new tab the athena window will open in this athena window click on the launch query editor you can see this particular screen is coming now here you can see data source is the data catalog we have selected and database is the revenue database so this is the and in table also you can see this is the table we already have means with the help of the crawler it automatically detected the database and the table name now this table actually we will use for the analysis so before that we have to do one setting go to the setting click on the manage and save your query result so i will i want to save my query result here only means whatever the query you are running it's kind of the uh, log so i'll just select the same path i'll come to the editor now you can see this is the particular table which got created right so i will click on the preview table so you can see select star from revenue dot revenue poc this particular one is got created and you can see this is how actually we are able to query so if you want to write any kind of the query you can do that you can use it for the analysis purpose suppose if i write select some of the profits what is the total profits i want to know from this particular table if i run this query you will see the result this is the total number of profits we have so like that actually we can use a data catalog for the query purpose